found at last. Amelia Earhart's plane may be in Papua New Guinea waters. Photo show. This is on Sputnik Today. Researchers have Project Blue Angel preparing to continue their investigation this year of an aircraft crash site off the coast of Papua New Guinea's Buka Island. They believe likely holds the remains of Amelia Earhart's Lockheed Electra 10E airplane. Researchers with Project Blue Angel are preparing to continue their investigation this year of an aircraft crash site off the coast of Papua New Guinea's Buka Island. They believe it holds the remains of Amelia Earhart's Lockheed Electra 10E, the iconographic American aviator, and her navigator Fred Newman went missing July 2nd, 1937. It was during a flight from Papua New Guinea to Holland Island, an uninhabited coral island that lies between Hawaii and Australia. Noonan and Earhart were declared dead in absentia in 1938 and 1939, respectively. William Snavely, the director of Project Blue Angel, first learned of the Buka Island crash site in 2005 after being tipped off to it by local uh, local corrections officer, but it was not until 2011 that the local government granted Snavely with exclusive rights to conduct dives in order to investigate the area concerning the, the Earhart plane with his team of researchers. Having reacted Earhart's route from Lai, Papua New Guinea, Snavely believes that the wreckage has a high chance of being the Lockheed Electra 10E on account of it being found on the aviator's flight route and the wrecked plane showing similarities to specific modifications that Earhart's Electra had been fitted with for her journey. Also, although the entirety of the Snavely collection data has yet to be completely revealed, reviewed by experts, initial reports say that a piece of glass from the site may be from the Electra's landing light. Snavely also theorized that Earhart likely turned back towards Papua New Guinea after noting that uh, her aircraft was running low on fuel. Quote, the Buka Island wreck site was directly on Amelia and Fred's flight path, and it's an area never searched following their disappearance, Snavely told General Aviation News. He said, what we've found so far is consistent with the plane she flew. While there's no way to be certain yet that this is definitely Amelia Earhart's Electra plane, the crash site may hold the clues to solving one of the world's greatest mysteries. Amelia and Fred belong to history now, but they belong to all of us as well. It's time for us to come together and rewrite this history, he added. Project Blue Angel launched a GoFundMe campaign earlier this month to collect enough funds to foot the bill for their continued expeditions, which are set to take place later this year, if all goes as planned. General Aviation reported the campaign has a goal of $200,000, the latest development in the movement to solve the disappearance of Earhart and Newman, comes months after a scientific study argued in March 2018 that bones discovered on the Pacific island of Nikumaroro in 1940 belonged to the, the Kansas native. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.